Hello there, this is Andrea again on another of my caregiving episodes. And I'm, I'm very passionate about this because us as caregivers um, need to be cared for too. And we need to be, we need to do little things that will give us joy, that will make our journey with our loved one as well very beautiful. Um, I would like you to remind you that I am no expert at anything that I say to you. Wherever I'm coming from, I'm coming from a space of I have experienced it and I think it's something that I could share to edify you and just to make your day a little less stressful and to deal with issues and we can discuss issues together. Now, I'd love for you to remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video if you have not. And that, that my channel can grow. And when, when you share it with others, ask them to please like, share, and subscribe as well. Thank you. Um, I'm reminded in Psalm 89 verse one, it says, I will sing of the loving kindness of the Lord forever to all generations. I will make known your faithfulness with my mouth. And today I'm giving God thanks for another day. Yes. And I'm hoping that through my talking to you, you will learn of God's loving kindness through what I'm sharing with you. So recently, recent as this morning, I experienced my mother. Um, she had turned on Alexa. We have an Alexa device in the kitchen. So while she was helping me with washing up dishes after breakfast, she, I heard her when she turned on the Alexa and she's there, you know, sing, humming along and thing. And she's doing the dishes I saw her. And then it was time to power off Alexa. But instead of saying Alexa, power off, as she usually does, I have no clue why she decided to have a conversation with Alexa this morning. But she decided to say something like this. Alexa, thank you for playing. Music was wonderful. Now you can come to an end. And, and we'll pick it up later. And Alexa said, hmm. I didn't understand you and Alexa just continued playing so um, I had a good laugh and I'm celebrating those little moments because why because a few months ago I, I as, as um as early as few weeks ago she was confused of how to turn on Alexa even though she she had done it in the past but just got confused about how to turn her off, turn her on. And she also knows how to turn her off, but I have no idea why she decided to have another conversation with Alexa this morning and said Alexa was being stubborn. <laughs> so I, I have to laugh at, at these little things and I, I celebrate these little moments you, um, the funny moments, I celebrate them because they lead to big wins and they make my day a little lighter. Recently, I had the experience of her attending a basketball game, which my friend Dave invited us to. And when she got there, when she was there and the chairs were going on, the, the team that we were cheering for were, were, um, was behind. So... Of course, they started this chair. I believe that we will win. And you should see mommy, mommy getting down. I believe that we will win. It was hilarious. Another little moment that I celebrated, it was yesterday my sister, Gail, called and we were doing a WhatsApp video 
and you know she asked mommy can you come over and make me some coconut drops and mom said no so I said Gail you won't get anything from her she has gotten so lazy and then she said no that's easy for me that easy for me why don't you just get the coconut cut them up and she start telling Gail how to do it but she wasn't giving her the details so I kept prompting her prompting her prompting her and it dawned on me that we as caregivers need to get little important things it might be a little recipe it might be a little family secret but we need to get those little important things out of our loved one they will not be around forever so we have to cherish these moments when we can get the little thing for mom it's, it's even it's even more difficult because she has memory loss no, you might have a situation with your where your loved one is probably not able to move about, but they can share ideas with you. How about celebrating some of those moments? Um, I mean, just getting fun things out of them. They might have stories to tell. They might have um, recipes, as I said, and little, little secrets of how they used to do things that could impact our lives. And we know nothing beat those old time remedies. So my little tidbit, sit with your loved one and use those little moments to just lighten the day and make the day go by. And when you jog their memories like that, you know, you keep them in tune and keep them full of life. And you too will be, um, be stress-free, less stress for you because you are keeping them engaged. Well, good. Have a good day. And remember to like, share, subscribe, and drop me a comment. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.